Well, it's no secret many migrants are working as food delivery workers. That's right, but because they're not legally authorized to work in the U.S. yet, they have to go through some extra hurdles to be able to do that. As they told our Lisette Nunez, this often involves renting bikes and even posing as friends to earn a living. Outside the Roosevelt Hotel, you'll find dozens of scooters parked. Migrants say it's their lifeline so they can provide for their families. Jesus and friend me are from Venezuela and arrived with their children two months ago. The two are renting out scooters from friends to deliver food. Friend me says he pays about $300 a week to rent out a scooter. Because the two are not authorized to legally work in the U.S., they tell me they pay an additional $140 every two weeks to borrow a friend's Uber Eats food delivery account and be able to make a living. The father of three says when he's paid rent on the scooter and paid to borrow the Uber delivery account, he takes home about $500 a week. And the situation is far from ideal. Jesus tells me one of his scooters was recently confiscated by police since it was not registered. That law setting him back and costing him hundreds of dollars worth of debt. He says all he wants is to be able to legally work and make enough money to move his family out of the Roosevelt Hotel. In Midtown, Lisa Nunez, Fox 5 News. And we reached out to Uber for a statement on this story, but did not hear back.